welcome to Devana Lee Design Studio. My name's Nicole Reed, and today I'm just going to do a little bit of a follow up off my uh, Finish It Friday video from last week. So, as uh, if you had have caught that video, and if you didn't, I'll link it down below, and uh, you can scoot over and have a bit of a look and see what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, I started going through all my UFOs, and um, I have a lot. Uh, I, I do have a lot. I have quilts. I've got bags. I've got purses, I've got wallets, I've got clutches um, from various designers. Some of them haven't been started at all. They've just been cut out and put into Ziploc bags. So technically they are in preparation to start. So they're not actually a UFO. But I do have some that are actually UFOs that have been sitting there either waiting for hardware or um, things like that. So this particular one was the one that I picked out last week and this one I um, started doing this in September, late September, early October with Natel Webb at a retreat, a reunion retreat that we did. So Natel Webb is the uh, designer of this particular um, clutch bag. It's called the Lulu and I just thought I'd um, show you what her patterns look like. I actually really like Natel's patterns. They're, they're explained very well. They're in step-by-step -step format. The pictures are very clear um, and she goes to a lot of trouble to make sure that um, everything is clear and concise. She gets her patterns tested like others do. Um, so this particular pattern as you can see um, it, with mine I'll just get rid of my label I've got cork on one side I've got my handmade plate this is the other side of the bag and it's got like a little handle and you've also got an area to put um, a chain on onto it um, we were testing this bag for Natel because this was get, this got released last year and I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it and um, have made it I've got the zipper in I've just got to make the card uh, bit but I've decided that I was going to leave that piece out because I just want to um, be able to slip a small purse in there and I don't really need to have a pocket for my lipstick or anything like that because I've got little little pouches and stuff that I use for that sort of thing so I'm actually going to leave that one out and I've just got to make the zipper tabs and put the final zipper in and then um, this bag will be complete so you would have noticed there that you can uh, as I said you can have a chain on it or you've just got this handle um, I like the look of this I've never worked with cork up until this point um, and I did really I, I really enjoyed uh, sewing with it. it it went together really well my machine handled it I was a little bit worried that the machine I was using wasn't going to handle it because I'd never used it before so there's always that inherent fear um, of using something new and your machine's not going to cope with it but it did and I love working with cork and I've worked with cork a fair bit and also vinyl since then um, so this particular pattern um, is for a confident beginner. It is it is essentially a zipper pouch with a few added extras on it. Um, we used rivets as well and I learned how to um, set it with a, a rivet press. I'd never done that before. I always just um, bang them together with a hammer, a cloth and um, you know the standard way that most people when they first get into bag making do. Um, so that was really good. I learned something at the retreat about using the, the rivet press and I have subsequently got myself one. I come home and got one because it was so much easier. Um, so yeah, we'll just dive into the pattern and I can show you um, exactly sort of what how she sets it out and everything like that. So as I said, it was for a confident beginner. The pattern includes um, instructions for a fabric strap as an option it also has an internal zipper pocket and it has a slip pocket for credit cards and lipsticks and as I said I'm not actually making that in my particular one and you know that's entirely up to you a, a pattern is a guideline and you just make it how you like to you know you follow the steps and make it how they do and and all that but you know as you get better at it you start to do things you know a little bit different and you leave things out that you don't necessarily use so um, I've just printed mine out in black and white. There are um, pattern pieces at the back. So I'll start from the back on what you get. Um, so if you make bags for people, for customers and everything like that. Uh, so Natel has included a planner. So it's got the client's name, the phone number, the signature. So after you've gone through it with them. 
and, and all that sort of stuff. It tells you uh, you've got little uh, tick boxes that you can use. Um, you can stick your fabrics where you need, like the fabrics that you're going to use for it. So that's really handy. It's a great reference guide after you've spoken to the customer. Then you've also got um, some pattern pieces. Uh, there are quite a few from memory. I'll just see how many I've got. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages of pattern pieces. So they're all there for you to cut out and use. Then you've also got, um, and this is what I like about this pattern too, because you've got the labels as well. So then you've got um, interfacing labels and it tells you what it's for and everything like that. And then you've got um, the fabric labels. And as I said, it's got really clear instructions of how to put it together. So this is just a, an example of some of the pictures that are through the, um, through the pattern. And they're all laid out step by step. And that is what I love about these patterns from uh, Tangle Web Designs. So you can see there, there's another uh, page and it just goes through and basically shows you what to do and you have little tips as well um, for you know pinking shears a great option reducing bulk in seam allowances so little tips like that um, we have at the front now I'll just flick to the front so you can see here there are quite a few pages with your pattern pages and your labels and and everything that she's included so here is the instructions, uh, the, sorry, the content and what page it's on and it just tells you. So if you start making it and you've got to walk away, you can just quickly use this as a reference, go to the page that you need. Now, um, I think to, in total there are 41 pages it says here. So it's quite, quite a bit. Um, there's all the contact information for Natelle and at Tangle Web Designs, so her email, her Facebook um, group and also her stores and whatnot or whether you've seen any of her patterns or anything like that but you would have if you do you would know that she's got her um, fabric line which you can find at Spoonflower so all that information is um, in there there's an acknowledgement so it then goes on to tell you about copyright um, printing and then uh, general information the finished height um, what fabrics you can use and all that sort of stuff so it just goes on to that and then you've got the cutting instructions and then you've got your um, like directions and everything like that so it tells you on that page which I don't want to show you because it's got all the measurements um, so yeah basically um, it has everything that you need to cut and the amount that you need and then it'll tell you the quantities and it just goes on through there um, you can see here there's all the labels that are set out on all the pieces that she's cut out and it's showing you how to um, and then it goes on I love these little pages just um, how much she loves different products and stuff like that so basically yeah I think this is a great pattern you can see there there's the, the pictures are great the steps are great they're very clear concise and honestly I cannot say more about this pattern I love it Unfortunately, I didn't finish it at the retreat that we went to and now I'm going to actually finish it. So I will probably feature this. Um, I've just got to do the zipper tabs and put the main zipper in and then I will show you the finished product on Friday in my next Finish It Friday video. So, um, and for US, that'll be Thursday night. It'll probably go up for you guys and um, for uh, Australian audiences, that will go up on Friday. So... If you haven't tried this pattern before, I suggest that you head over to her store and I will link it all up down below um, for you so you can find that nice and easy over at Craftsy um, and or Etsy, whichever platform you like to use. And um, yeah, I would actually give it a go. It's a really enjoyable, easy pattern to um to work with and if you like this video today give it a thumbs up down below hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and leave us a comment tell us what you thought of the pattern review is it something that you'd like to see in the future um, have you made the Lulu clutch bag before if you have leave us a comment down below we'd love to hear from you my name is Nicole Reed for Devonaloo Design Studio and this is Pattern Review Weekly